Good evening. Good evening, Gabriela, Ileana, Elena. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Are you ready to start a new a new class? So we're gonna wait a little bit as always so that the majority of the participants can gather. Okay, good evening, people. Hello, hello, Olga, Ileana, Elena, Dalila, Gabriela. Okay, we're gonna start. Okay, we're gonna start. Uh, mingle the rest of the people, uh, get into the class. Uh, let us talk a little bit about what, what you've learned um, today in English. Remember, every single day that you have the opportunity to learn something new in English. Gabriela, for example. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Um, I was practicing in present simple and present continuous exercise. Um, present simple for events that are certain or occur in the near future. For right. example, the train, the train arrives at 6 and 20, 12, 12. Mm -hmm. and does the, does the conference start next Monday? All right. The present continuous of things that are happening currently, even if it is not at this moment. For example, are you studying allow this date? Are you studying our a lot these days. Great. <laughs> Excellent job, Gabriela. I can see that you have been studying the grammar that I told you yesterday night right? about present simple meaning future and also present progressive. Excellent. 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 I really like that. Okay, let's continue according to the order I can see you here. Well, hmm. we're going to continue with Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I learned the five you only like once. All right. <laughs> you, you only live? You only live, live once. once. Yes. Okay. It's pretty good. Okay. You only live once. Excellent. Uh, Juan Carlos. What did you learn today? 
in English. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Well, I learned uh, how I use uh, future foot, what? Foot you, bueno. How you foot foot fit fit you? Future. Uh, we'll be going to and will. Okay. For. For example, uh, when we have planned uh, how for the week, cuando tenemos planes para hacer how, 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 bueno, cómo hacer una pregunta. Por ejemplo, what plan does she have for the weekend? Uh, for example. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you, thank you, Olga. Yeah. All right. My has an uh, English class tomorrow night. Uh, the restaurant closet um, ten to nine. No sé, también. Simple present, Tengo... excellent, Olga. Oh, the okay. restaurant closes Tengo... at nine. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, bueno, logro entender que lo cierran a las diez. <laughs> exactly, Mira, digo, exactly. Ten to, to nine. At 10 tonight, all right. The class starts or the class ends at nine tonight. Okay, that's really good. Simple, Doctor, present, okay. meaning, future. Thank you, Olga. Ileana? Hello, Ileana. Hello, sorry. Okay, Ileana, what's new? What did you learn tonight? I mean, today. Well, teacher, I was practicing about what we just learned yesterday and the use of going to. Uh, because I, I didn't notice that before that. I I, I, I was always using um, this uh, in the bad way, I think, because I, I use it. I use will and going to with whatever I wanted to to express. I was using both of them, so I was uh like uh practicing going to that prefers to to intentions or future plans that have already uh like been decided. I remember, so I was practicing that. Great! Now you have a clearer idea about become yeah. two, right? Trust me, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's because you know at the beginning when we learn this kind of grammar, we think that we can use uh, become two uh, in any case. And yesterday we noticed that there are specific situations in which you can use become two. And and tonight we're gonna study will, and you will see that it's meaning a future, but there are slight differences between both of them. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Liana. And we're gonna we're gonna ask somebody else just to finish. Margarita. Claudia Margarita, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Cuánto subido? Cuánto peso ahorita? Hello, teacher. Uh, I I learned about uh, a simple present as a future. Uh, for for example, when we know about the future, we normally use the present tense. Mm -hmm. uh, we use the present simple for something scheduled. All right. uh, for example, we have a lesson next Monday. 
the train arrives at 6 30 in the morning the holiday has started next week and it's my birthday tomorrow wow That's fantastic all. thank you claudia hey i can see that the topic we started yesterday was quiet quite significant because now you now you know that we have different different structures to talk about future okay simple present tense for scheduled uh situations present progressive be going to and will okay i will check list attendance before starting with the topic itself okay let me know in a very quick way you are here remember tomorrow it's a very special day because tomorrow you are going to be in church of uh, showing everybody that you have learned a lot during this uh, time, during this, this month. So you, tomorrow you're going to have the opportunity. I will start, actually, I will start by, by um, giving you the the opportunity to participate okay well tonight is tuesday october the 17th and i start just right now alejandra maria aristides hello aristides Present. Okay. Carlos David. Present teacher. Cesar. Present teacher. Margarita. I'm here, teacher. Lourdes. Present teacher. Dalila. Present teacher. Marisol. Elena Marisol. Gabriela Noemi. Present teacher. Idalia. Present. Present Ili teacher. Okay. Ileana. Present teacher. Ingrid. Ingrid Morena. Juan Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Crisia Morena. Present. Liliana. Present. Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, Olga. Eh, Rina. Present teacher. And Wendy. Present teacher. Great, great. I really, I really like this. Okay, once again, let me know if uh, Elena Marisol is here and also Ingrid Morena. No, really, so, well, let us start because tonight we have a lot of work to do, as always, right? As always, oops, give me a second. Well, we're going to start with this because, as you know, uh, we have been like talking about future, but tonight we are in church of talking about a uh, quill. Yeah, as you can see over here, we're gonna we're we're in church of talking about future with Bitcoin two and will. Yesterday we started with Bitcoin two. Now is the opportunity to talk a little about a will. And in order to start with it, I have one conversation as I will try to have a similar lesson like the one we had yesterday, so that uh, we can understand a little bit uh, about some differences between Bitcoin 2 and Will. Now, in order to start, for you to get familiarized with the topic, we have 
The following conversation. Conversation Let's... one. Will you be home tonight? I should. Why? I need to ask you a few questions. Okay. I'll be up late, so call any time. Okay. I'll call you around nine-ish. I'll be waiting. Great. I promise I won't take up much of your time. No worries. I got all the time in the world. Great. I'll talk to you later then. Yep. See you then. That was the first one. Like yesterday, we had, we had, well, actually, here we have three conversations, four conversations over here. And we have a lot of work to do here. Now, conversation number one I need two people here. I need uh, Aristides and I need Idalia to read it. <coughs> Could you be home tonight? I should. Why? I need to ask you a few questions. Okay, I will be up late to call anytime. Okay, I'll call you around uh, nice. I'll be waiting. Great, I promise I want I want to <laughs> stay. Uh, no worries, I no equivocamos, ¿verdad? <laughs> Porque estaba diciendo al revés. No importa. No worry, I got all the time in the world. <laughs> Grace, I'll talk to you later, thing. Um, yes. See you then. Yeah, see you then. <laughs> all right. So as you can see, we have Willow in here and we have it. For a just no question, right? Hey, will you be home tonight? I should. Why? I need to ask a few questions. And then we have it in the contractive form. I is the contractive form of will. I will. I'll be up late, so call anytime. I'll. I'll. Okay, I'll call you around night -ish. I'll be quitting. I'll. I'll. And in a negative form, I have like, I won't take. I won't take. No worries, I got all the time in the world. Great, I'll talk to you later then. Yeah, see you then. Conversation number two, pay attention, please. Try to reproduce the conversation according to what you listen to, all right? Here we go. Conversation two. I am sorry to hear the news. It's okay. I saw it coming. What will you do? I'm not sure. I think I'll just take some time off and take it easy for a while. That sounds like a good plan. Well, I guess all good things come to an end. They do. Nothing lasts forever. True, but I'll miss this place. And we'll miss you. And you'll be back on your feet in no time. I hope so. I hope so. Number two. Okay, I need two more people over here. I need... Oh, Crisia and also Ileana. Thank you, Ileana. Crisia and Ileana. Okay. I'm sorry to hear the news. It's okay. I saw it coming. What will you do? I'm not sure. I think I, I'll just take some time off and take it easy for a while. That sounds like a good plan. Well, I guess all good things came to at the end. They do. Nothing lasts forever. True, but I will miss this place. And we'll miss you, and you'll be back on your feet in that time. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. Great pronunciation. I, I like the way nice. you... That was really nice, actually. Hey... What do we have here? We have a double H question. Okay, with Guil. What will you do? What do we have here? Contractive form once again. I'll. Um, now, I... if you see, if you see that um, Will is in the contractive form, try to get uh, accustomed to uh, saying the structure the way it is. Okay, if, if it is I'll, mention I'll. If it is a uh, type to written down like I will, then you say I will, right? So, well, uh, I guess all good things come to an end. 
They do nothing like forever. True, but I'll miss this place. And look at it, we'll miss you. And you'll be back on your feet in a time. Hope so. Conversation number three. Here we go. Conversation three. It looks like it will rain this weekend. Oh, no. Now we can't go hiking. I'll call everyone and postpone it until next week. What about the dinner we planned afterwards? We can move it back to next week. Okay. I'll call the restaurant and cancel the reservation. Thanks. Thanks. All right. That was conversation number three. Now I need two more people. Liliana, I think Liliana wants to continue. All right, Liliana and Wendy. Liliana and Wendy. Okay. Uh, 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 yo, <laughs> me. Okay. It looks like it will rain this weekend. Oh no, now we can go hiking. I call everyone and post and postpone, postpone it, postpone it until next week. What about the dinner we plan it? afterward we can move it back to the next week okay i call the restaurant and cancel their reservation thanks thanks all right and the last one conversation four i need someone to write up a sales report i'll do it Great. How long will it take you? No more than a few hours, I think. Great. I'll get Susan to help you. No need. I'll be all right. Thanks, though. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. Let's try with Gabriela and Cesar. Okay. I need some to write write up a silos report i'll do it great how long will i take you no more than a few hours uh, i think are you get susan to hear you to hear you. no need i will be right thanks so the so it's yourself. So it's yourself. All right. I will share the link so that you can practice more. Okay. Ahí tienen el, el enlace en el, en, el, en el chat para que lo tengan de referencia y aquel que quiere uh, practicarlo mucho más pueden hacer grammar. Well, for future tenses, I will read it a little bit fast so that you get familiarized the same way we did it yesterday. Then I will present some information in a PowerPoint so that you can notice about some differences um, between be, uh, going to and will. Point number one, we use will to talk about things happening in the future. So far, so good, right? There is no any problem with it. I will see, I will see you tomorrow. The meaning will start soon. Will start. Will start. She will not be here. It will not be easy. What do you notice about it? That after will, you're going to have a base form of a verb. All right? Simple like that. Point number two. The negative form will is will not but we often contract this to want. So you know that want is the same as will not in spoken English, especially in spoken English. However, the not use construction in formal writing, all right? Some points that you need to have to have clear. We won't have enough money. She won't get home un until six. The tips won't be easy. I won't try this year. Point number three. We use will to express a future action that is 
in me immediate. Who will be at the meeting? Everyone will be there. When will it end? I will I will end at noon, just before lunch. Point number four. We often use the construction of will like and spoken English. However, then I just construction the informal writing. I call you tomorrow. She'll be here soon. They'll give you call this quick. Arnold always says I'll be back in this movie, in his movies. All right. So something else that you need to, you need to uh, take into consideration is this exercise. For example, when will the woman call the man? When? At seven or around nine? Do you remember? Nine. Uh, nine. What's around nine, right? So then you may say, when will the woman call the man? Well, she will call the man around nine. What will the man do? Take him off or take a long trip? Take, take, uh, take time off or take a long trip? Take a long trip. Take a long trip. What will happen this weekend? It will rain. It will rain. It will rain. Who will write the report? The man. That man. All right, pretty good. So here we committed a mistake. It was at seven, right? That's it. Okay. So well, you can you can continue like solving this exercise. So I already tried to introduce the the topic, and now I will present some info that I consider significant. Now, this is our topic, Future Simple. What are we going to study here? Well, some differences between be going to Future Simple with Will. Now, what do you see over here? What do you see in the picture? Hey, how do you say Adivina or Adivino in English? You can look for the vocabulary in the internet. How do you say adivina or adivino in English? Anybody in the group? Hello, are you there? Can you listen to me, people? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so are... how do you say how do you say adivino or adivina in English? Future teller, teacher. Ah, future teller or fortune teller, right? Okay, very good. Now, why do you think the picture represents uh, the future? Why? Because remember, we are talking about what future simple. But what does a uh, fortune teller? What does a fortune teller do in this presentation? Any idea? She will, she will say the future to the man. Uh, she will say the future to the man. Okay. Look at it. You will live a long and happy life. You will have two children and a dog. You will not be rich. You will not get married. You won't get married. All right? So, but what do you notice about these people? What is the difference, for example, with the information we studied yesterday? Bitcoin 2. Remember about Bitcoin 2, right? Now, we need to start thinking about some differences between Bitcoin 2 and Quill which is the topic that we are starting tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, question is, is she guessing? Do you know this verb, guessing? About the future? Is she guessing? 
Or is she sure about the future? She is guessing. Ah, she's she's guessing, right? Yes. She is guessing. So that's why she's a fortune a fortune teller. So first rule will is gonna be used to talk about future. But how certain are we going to be about future? We're not gonna be certain. Now, how certain are you? Uh, uh, how certain is the woman about telling this information? About telling this information. Hey, you will have two children. And no, so you will have a dog in 10 years. So you will see, you will see the explanation that it provides. And you will notice that it is different from the information we, start, we studied yesterday. Look at it. Hey, would I be healthy? Would I fall in love? Just no questions, right? Would I get a better job? We will live on Mars. What do you notice about these questions? It's the same, right? Things that we're not sure. Hey, will I fall in love? Beats me. Hey, will I be healthy in 10 years? Will I get a better job in two years ahead? Will we live on Mars? <laughs> Impossible to know, right? But the person is guessing. Now, Johnny will just set the table. Now, this is a different way to use Quill. Pay attention because he is requesting something. Johnny, will you set the table? And Johnny says, sure that I will. I will do it in five minutes. Future simple. Now here we have uh, some explanation about what I have been talking about. To talk about predictions and promises in the future. Predictions and promises. We can use the future simple. There are some words that we need to take into consideration to notice that we're talking about future. Tomorrow, the next week, next weekend, a few days, a few weeks, a few years later. So far so good? Predictions, promises. Predictions and promises. Similar to what we started yesterday, I don't think so, right? There is a slight difference. Future simple affirmative. Something else that you need to keep in mind is that you have the subject, I, you, he, she, which you, they, will, all the time, will, stay, bird in the base form, and a complement. Contractive form, I, you, He'll, she'll, it'll, will, you'll, and they'll. Then, infinitive without two. This is a structure. Negative, the only thing that you are going to do is to include not to the statement. Or if you want to contract it, will not becomes want. Remember that when, when, when writing formally, you're not going to use this. Actually, you need subject, will not, or won't, plus an infinity without two plus um, a complement. There are also questions. And over here, you start by using will at the beginning, will I, will you, will he, will we, will you, and will they. Hey, will you go? Will you go to school in June? Will you go? When? When will you go to school? Different, right? Would you go to school? Yes, I will. When would you go to school? Well, I will go this coming summer, for example. Will plus such plus infinitive without two. This is the question. Question with a double H word. You have double H word plus will plus a such plus infinity without two. Now, we're going to underline certain uh, words. 
For example, when will you go shopping? When will you go shopping? I will go shopping. What? Next Monday. Next Monday, like the one we have here. I will go shopping next Monday. I will go shopping the next Monday. What? What will you do next Monday? And what will you do next Monday? Billy Eilish won't play any concerts this summer. What is the person doing? Well, maybe she wants or she or he wants to propose going to a concert. In this case, Billy's concert. Who? Who won't play any concert this summer? And that's it. Simple like that, right? Simple, simple like that. Any question about it? Any question? No, teacher. No, right. So let me see, because I need to share an exercise. Then we're going to make a comparison between both. Tenses. Let us see if we are going to have enough time. Okay. And let us try with this one. If I remember the same other one. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the one. Okay, now over here, we're going to complete the statements by using future. They what? You have to be over here. They are going to. Mm, let's see. We're going to we're gonna read first the, the, the statement so that we get a clear idea. Hey, synthesis and questions in the will future exercise. So we're going to use will. Put in the verbs in brackets into the gaps. Use will. Will. So we're going to use will. Watch the punctuation and form sentences or question. Now, now yes. They will be back. They will be back. They will be back. Now, second one. To have, they will be back. By six Teacher, thirty, right? But in the first, will you help me? Uh, in the first one, we have specific time. Yes. For that, I I think that is is going to. Ah, that's a good question, right? It is a good question. So we're gonna check it later because over right here, it okay. all depends on the context. Okay. Uh, it all depends on the Christian, right? Okay. Now, why? Because we don't know if they are guessing. Maybe they are saying that they will get back at 6.30, but how sure they are about it? So we don't know, right? Yes, yes. yes. So we don't know. That's why, okay. but we're going to see because if they told them that, you know, let's imagine they, they are parents. And I mean, uh, they told parents that they will get back at 6 30. And they told them, hey, you know, dad, you know, mom, don't worry because for sure um, we're going to get back home at 6 30. Okay. Now that's different, Diff a little bit different. So, but that was, that was really nice. Okay. I really like that observation. Yeah, let's see. Now, let us start with this one. It's a question and we have to help. Will you, Will you help me? Help? Will you to help me? Okay, help. Will you help me? Will you help me? When? When will I see you again? When will I see you again?
his parents his parents will want honesty for being his parents will his parents will not him for being late will not will not punish 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 Punish. punish him for being late all right remember that will not can be contracted right but in the exercise i don't know if he's going to take it uh, for good tonight there is a question on right here will they will will they dance Seeing the contract tonight. Will the sign? Sign. sign? sign. The contract tonight. The contract tonight. Number six. To take. It will take us three hours to get there. It will take. It will take us three hours to get there. Number seven. The race. Will this concern raise money for our school club? All right, raise this concern raise money for our school club. Hey, this van will not will, will not, not break break down break down break down. Down with eight they, people. This one we break down you know. with eight people in it. The meeting will not close before tomorrow morning. Oh, sorry. The meeting will not close before tomorrow morning. And the last one. When to send? When will the children send? When will she? When will she send? send. Me a copy of a essay. We're gonna check. Good people. We got a ten, right? You got a ten. You got a ten. You got a hundred percent. Great job. Okay, now that we know a little bit about future with will, we are gonna make a comparison. Okay, now yes, we're gonna we're gonna see the video that we have here. Pay attention because we still have like 19 minutes in this video. It's going to last for Hi, everyone. nine minutes, all right? So let us pay spe special attention to this guy. And then in your own words, you're gonna explain the difference between future with Bitcoin to and will. Pay attention. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about- Do you listen to it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. Plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? 
Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. Listen what we carefully. want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends, and they ask you, "So, what are you planning to do for your vacations?" And maybe you respond, "Well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't." bought the tickets, I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on, then we're going to use these expressions. I guess I'll just um, stay home. Th these are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not, then you're going to use these expressions towards the right. And that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class. So quickly before we talk about this particular chart, what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to. So the examples on the left side of this chart. In order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus the verb for plans that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So 
in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go. And then within that plan, think of all the possibilities. And of course, use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might have decided to take your vacation, and you might know exactly where to go. And then, again, you might not. So if you're sure about it, then you're going to use the expressions towards the left. You're going to use be going to plus, um, you know, whatever complement that exists. So you're going to use, I'm going to go to Europe. All right, that could be um, your plan. But if you don't know, you haven't decided on, I'm not sure of where I'm going to go. I guess I'll travel, but I don't know where. And so you'll use the expressions towards the right side of this chart. You don't know you. Okay, now further information about will and going to, right? Uh, something that I, I want you to highlight to me here is that we use going to for plans that you already uh, decided. But you will use will when you are not sure, when you are guessing. And actually, there is some vocabulary, I'm not sure, maybe, I don't know, probably, that let us know that we are in church of using will. Okay, time is almost, is almost done. We are missing like eight or nine minutes. And I will ask this question, and anybody in the group can answer to, to me, please. How are you going to spend your next vacation, people? How are you gonna how are you gonna spend your next vacation? Have you ever thought about it? Yes, no. Uh, no, I, okay. uh -huh. go ahead, Carlos. I'm going to take my next vacation in November. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take vacation time in November. Okay. Bueno, right. me imagino que dice ahí que cuando tú vas a tomar tus siguientes vacaciones, me imagino, mm -hmm. si no me equivoco. No, not exactly. No, no. Spend. How? Spend. How are you going spend. to 
How are you going to when? spin? How? Maybe you will go to the beach. Maybe you will stay home. Maybe mm -hmm. you will um, go to a Maybe restaurant. Try. Maybe you will um, go the mal to... Delicante. Yeah, right. So... <laughs> So, but how? And listen carefully because I am just asking about it at this moment. How are you going to spend? So if you are not sure, of course, that you are going to answer to me by, by guessing and using will. But if you already have a plan, you are going to use going to. Okay, eso es lo que decía Crisia, si mal no recuerdo. Y usar Pero, los dos, por ejemplo, pudiese uh, ser. Uh, are, you going to, are you going to. Are you going to go to. Are you going to go termales de Alicante? And maybe I will go to Albania. Ajá, uh -huh, but. but. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, digamos? Una de las diferencias, porque ya vimos otra, ¿verdad? Pero lo que acá nos resalta en, la, en el video es que, by, por ejemplo, para contestar esta pregunta, yo puedo usar be going to and will, pero depende. Depende. ¿De qué? Que si yo ya hice mis planes para el fin de año, si yo desde, que desde hace un mes yo ya hice mi plan que voy a ir a la playa, entonces, yo ya estoy seguro que voy a ir a la playa. Y vamos a usar it. going to. Pero si solo estoy diciendo, bueno, al fin de año iré a la playa, ese iré a la playa me dice que todavía no hay nada definido. O sea, pueda que hay probabilidades que vaya, pero a lo mejor también pueda que decir otra cosa. Y por eso acá, si ustedes se fijan, hay expresiones como I'm not sure, no estoy seguro, o creo que me quedaré en casa. O a lo mejor, maybe, ok, etc. Creo que, ok, y de ahí se fijan que después va will. Ah, probablemente no iré a ningún lado. Entonces, ¿de qué depende? Depende de la situación específica de cada caso o de lo que querramos eh, proyectar como idea si yo ya lo tengo hasta agendado en, la, en el calendario que cierto día voy a ir entonces vamos a usar going to where are you going to go it's the same story where are you going to take your next vacation when when how long are you gonna are you gonna be on vacation time I don't know if you got it. I think it's not that difficult. Now, questions, people, about it? Questions? Bueno, les va a quedar una tarea de este video. Si ustedes se dieron cuenta, al inicio empieza con una conversación. Necesito que escriban esa conversación. In your future plans. Lo deben de escuchar y lo deben de escribir. Before I explain the grammar involved in Esta this lesson, empieza, I would like to play esperemos. an audio program to illustrate how this topic It's an is audio used. program, right? Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. Ok, it starts, comienza en el segundo, en, el, en los 45 segundos. De ahí para adelante, hay que copiar lo que escuchemos, ok? I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? 
I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Okay. Eso necesito. Let me see. Okay, lower the... Well, are we checklist the things? Sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. Okay, I will share list attendance and I think we're going to finish. Está clara lo que necesito como tarea, pero esa tarea no es para mañana. Recuérdense que para, para mañana ustedes tienen algo un poquito fuerte. Ok, entonces esa tarea la voy a estar chequeando eh, pasado mañana, ya que salgan de, de la actividad que hemos establecido para día miércoles, que es el día de mañana. Dígame. I have a question. Tell me, María. Eh, en El Salvador, al, al arroz con frijoles se le dice casamiento en comida, pero si lo queremos decir en inglés, siempre sería Merriot. No. No. ¿Cómo no. Es? So, rice and bean. Ah. Beans and rice. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay, thank so, you. Okay, you're welcome. Now, veamos. Así repito la lista de asistencia. Alejandra Mejía. Aristide Sotoniel. Present. Carlos David. Present teacher. César. Margarita. Claudia. Present. Lourdes. Present. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Present. Eh, Gabriela. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Ileana. Present teacher. Ingrid. Juan Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Grecia. Present. Liliana. Present. María. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. And Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, now people, recuerden, vamos a, vamos a tomar ventaja del tiempo mañana. Espero que todos se preparen todos y que nos sorprendan con algo en donde nos, nos muestren, que nos digan, wow, este mes aprendí esto, 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 de alguna manera. Ok. Porque en realidad hemos, hemos tocado varios temas, ¿ok? Y hemos, yo considero que los temas que se han tocado son, son muy importantes para que, para que ustedes avancen en, en su proyecto de volverse bilingües, ¿ok? Ya prácticamente esta semana terminamos el módulo 1, ya luego pasan con otro docente y es necesario que cuando ustedes enfrenten el, el nuevo módulo, este, pues lleven las herramientas necesarias o las destrezas necesarias del idioma para poder eh, aumentar, poder uh, mejorar, poder crecer en el segundo idioma, ¿ok? Entonces, la hora está designada para su participación 100%. Ahora, si yo siempre tengo actividades acá, eh, planificadas pero en realidad el objetivo es que nos gastemos 60 minutos en pura participación de ustedes ok um, si no hay consultas preguntas nos quedamos acá solo me gustaría consultarle en un contexto de lo que vamos a hacer mañana el contexto, ustedes lo eligen. Todo es una actividad libre. Una actividad que ustedes, bueno, puede ser un, un ejercicio en donde usted nos muestre 
qué es lo que aprendió, puede ser de pronunciación, puede ser de gramática, puede ser un cuento, puede ser una historia, puede ser un speech. Usted me dice, teacher, yo quiero hablar durante cinco minutos, ok, entonces le damos el tiempo que se hable durante cinco minutos en inglés, pero en ese speech, yo como maestro voy a estar identificando justamente aquellas cosas que hemos venido estudiando durante el, durante el nivel. Entonces, en mi mente, yo voy a estar diciendo, mmm, esta persona sí utilizó esto, utilizó esto otro, quizás le faltó por acá, o quizás te vio implementar algo por acá. O sea, yo voy a estar evaluando, no con números, ok, pero sí voy a estar evaluando sus avances. ¿Alguna otra consulta? Teacher, eh, con respecto a la actividad de mañana, uno, por ejemplo, puede hacer un resumen de todo lo que, de lo que ha aprendido. Claro. Durante el mes. Claro. Y hacer pequeños ejemplos de cada cosita. Por ejemplo, cómo pronunciar la ED en los verbos. Todo eso sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, pero, vaya, eh, tratemos de que el día de mañana no se va a volver una actividad de lectura, por favor. ¿Ok? Porque, digamos, si alguien prepara un speech eh, y lo lee todo, entonces, pues, prácticamente nuestra práctica va a ser una práctica de lectura, no va a ser una práctica así como un oral, una, una oral activity, no. ¿Ok? Sino que tratemos, en la medida de lo posible, no estar leyendo. Recuérdense, máximo cinco minutos, mínimo tres reloj. All right. Okay. Okay. No more questions. Los espero el día de mañana y con ansias. Créeme que cuando vamos a este tipo de actividades yo me quedo con ese con esa ganas de que sea ya miércoles porque quiero ver qué es lo que ustedes van a presentar. Pero me voy a aguantar hasta el día de mañana. Lo sí. contrario de nosotros. <laughs> Exacto, lo mismo pensé. See you tomorrow, people. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.